Controversy tonight over a road widening project on the west side of Indianapolis. The proposal turning Rockville Road into a six lane street. As WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us, not everyone is on board. It's very, very frustrating to the neighbors. Do you feel like this is working? I think this is working fine. Karen Farmer has lived off Rockville Road for 40 years. So if NDOT thinks that safety is an issue, they're not thinking about the safety of the residents at all. She isn't happy with the Indiana Department of Transportation's proposal to extend portions of the road into six lanes. It's part of NDOT's plan to reduce traffic congestion in the area. And the other concern with that is that they will take the curb lane away and make that one of the lanes, which means we don't have any way to pull off if we need to. We have more, um, we're less safe pulling out of our driveways because we're pulling out to fast moving traffic. As you can see behind us right now, nobody obeys the 45 mile speed limit because it's open road all the way from girls school, high school to girls school and girls school to high school. The changes will cut into her driveway, pushing traffic closer to her home. She says a median will also be installed, forcing her family to turn right every time they leave, even though they need to turn left. And that would be day after day, every time, every time you go to the grocery, every time you go to the take your kids to school, you go to a sporting event, you know, you're in and out of your driveway three and four times a day. So we're, we're very opposed to the median down the middle. While City County Councilor Jared Evans supports most of the widening project, he says this site should be off limits. It doesn't make sense to put those residents in a situation where they have no turnoffs. They're going to be turning in a traveling lane into their driveways. And the, the simple question I'll ask you is, who wants to buy a house off of a six-lane highway? Nobody. Okay, so it's absolutely going to hurt their property values. It's going to hurt the community as a whole. Um, and I'm not okay with that. And I, I don't, you know, the state reps, the state senators, they need to do their jobs and work with that entity in DOT and save this particular stretch. I don't want to take the risk every time I drive out of my driveway that a speeding car is going to collide with me. The whole neighborhood will be impacted by this project. On the west side, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. INDOT is holding a public meeting right now at the Wayne Township Fire Department headquarters on North High School Road. WRTV does have a crew on site. We'll bring you any developments on WRTV.com, the WRTV app, and tonight on the news at 11.